is my good friend, Miss Palma. How are you doing, Palma? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you, Chris? Very good. Palma from K-Fundamentals, you are no uh, newbie to the ESGI lives. No. Is this year three, maybe, I think? Or? Third, and yep. I've been using ESGI in my classroom since, I think, 2008. Way back, so way, back. back. Way, way back. That was your first year teaching, right? Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Palma, you are one of our favorite friends of ESGI just because of your passion for young learners and getting them ready by using ESGI to save you time for other things. So your session today is all about pre-reading. So before students, our young learners can read, we really have to do some things to make sure that they are prepared for that. So tell us a little bit about that. Right, well before you can teach a child to read, they have to be exposed to books, they need to be excited about literacy, and they need to be able to retell a story. And I always use the formula, characters, setting, problem, solution. If they can tell me those things and some, some different sequences within the story, then they can start reading their own stories. And you know, there's, it's not just about letters and sounds and sight words, it's about understanding how a story is. And I, I think that's just, and I think with reading, especially our young learners, we're so focused on sounding out words and phonics and things like that, that we forget that there's this whole comprehension side right. that is all about that retelling. So I right. love that you're gonna share some strategies right. for that. So can you retell a little bit about your morning maybe? So make sure you oh. include all those things. Character, like setting, sitting. problem, solution. Okay, okay, my morning. Okay, so okay. I woke up bright and early this morning here in the wonderful Venetian. And I thought, well, I'm going to get down to ESGI booth and do my interview. And so I'm rushing around and- With who are you going to do your interview with? With Chris Pomagno, my character. favorite. Okay, are you kidding me? Paisano. Uh, I'll and pay you later I know. For that one. Okay, so first thing, I get in the elevator and this other lady gets in the elevator too, and guess what? She can't decide which floor she wants to get off on, so she pushed three buttons. I'm not kidding you. Now, she got off on the first button, and I had to sit there and wait for the door to open and close two more times, I know. And other people were getting in, they're thinking, I pushed all these buttons. <laughs> okay, so I get down here to get my coffee. I rush back there, I just need my coffee. Because you know, my husband, he always makes me my coffee every morning. He's amazing, with two little biscotti. Shout out, shout I out. I know, I know one of my husband. And I get back there and guess what? They've cleaned up the coffee. So problem. I know, problem. problem. We got the characters, the lady in the, in the <laughs> elevator and, the, the, and me and the setting here in the Venetian, the problem was the coffee is gone. I literally was going to offer people money for their coffee. I was like looking at all these people, they all had coffee, and I didn't. She's not kidding, she's no, not kidding. No, I got back here, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a trial. I'm gonna do this without coffee. My problem, so what was my solution? An amazing person here at ESGI went down and did a coffee run for me, and he's got it back there when I'm all done here. I'm going to get my coffee. He might drink it before I know. you're done. My, I don't my know. husband's not here, so I needed somebody to do I a like coffee. It. I like it. So before I let you get started, we're going to play a little game, okay? Oh, no. Now, this is called the five-second rule, okay? So five how it works rule. is I'm, we're going to put five seconds on the clock, and you're going to have to, I'm going to give you a topic, and within those five seconds, you have to name three things for that topic, okay? Okay. So we're going to put five seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Are they long five seconds? No, no, no. no normal, <laughs> normal seconds. Normal, normal they're seconds. not Palma five seconds. Okay, here we go. Okay. Three red fruits. Uh, apple, raspberry, and strawberry. Good. Two seconds left. You got it. Okay, next one. Three Disney movies. Um, uh, Brave, um, uh, Snow White, and Cinderella. Oh, good job. You're, got, you're doing good so far. Three school supplies. Pencils, paper, crayons. That, that's like a gift. We could have yeah, done 10 in Yeah, we could have done that, that, yeah. Three Vegas hotels. Oh, well, the Venetian, uh, the old Riviera, and uh, the MGM something. Three cereals. <laughs> um, kicks. I don't know. Cheerios. Granola. <laughs> granola? Granola? I don't know. There is a granola cereal. All right, Palma, you got it. Awesome. Nice. Thank you. I'm going to let you go get ready for your session. All right. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to ESGI's pre-reading fun with K Fundamentals, where we like to keep the fun in the fundamentals. First, let me introduce myself to you if you don't have, haven't seen me before. I'm all about kids, my own kids, my kids in my classroom, and our newest kids on our farm, the goats that have just been purchased this last week in Northern California. <clears throat> in my classroom, I always stressed retelling stories. 
we would retell the three bears. And I would always wear my show and tell apron from showandtellaprons.com to be, help the children to sequence the story. We would make the beds out of butcher paper, just bulletin board paper. We re would reenact the story with puppets and with props. But more than that, we wanted literacy to come alive for children so that they would be super engaged in the learning. So here's me and my, uh, Sandy in her show and tell apron from showandtellaprons.com. She's got songs, she's got nursery rhymes, and she's got uh, stories, fairy tales, letters, numbers. You can even do equations, and I love my show and tell apron. I'm telling you about this because I'm going to be giving away lots of prizes at the end of this session. One prize is going to be for a 50% off of her apron here at the conference. But if you're watching from home, I also have some freebies for you at the very end. So how do we get kids engaged? We start with a paper bag. <clears throat> so I start with my paper bag, and I'm going to show you the directions on how to make this. And you can re-watch this later on. They'll, this will be archived, and it will also be on YouTube. To make the retelling story for the three bears, and you will be getting all these graphics for free, I and they have the rooms inside, you start by cutting just a regular lunch bag to make a little roof. Cut the corners off, and then you cut the bottom straight across. Now save that bottom, because we're going to use it for another book. And then you just cut up the middle, just the top layer, and cut one half inch off of the bottom to make it short. And we're going to be, that's the bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash retelling, and it is case sensitive. That's the bit.ly for all the graphics, for all the projects you're going to see here today. <clears throat> so I've even got a real live sample for you to see of the book. Now the funny thing about this book and how it came to be <clears throat> is I did something that teachers rarely do. I went to the bathroom. And while I was in the ladies' room, I noticed that there were these little bags. And I thought, well, if I cut the top off of them, it would make the perfect little house for the three bears, which I was teaching the sequence of the story that day. So I grabbed a whole bunch of them, and I cut the tops off, and I, gave, and I cut down the, the front and cut the bottoms, and I gave them to my students. And I went home that night, and I downloaded some graphics for the three bears. And the next day, we glued them inside to create this this story. Well, the, the next week I was going to be doing the gingerbread man. So I went back to the restroom and I got more bags and I did confess to my principal. I went in and told her, you know those little bags in the bathroom? We need to order more. And she goes, well, well no, way. there's lots of them in there. And I'm like, no, no, I, I used them all. And she said, are you okay? And, and I said, no, I'm fine, but I did the three bears this week, and next week I'm doing the gingerbread man. And this is what I wanted to make with the gingerbread man. It's the same basic house, and you can use this for any story that has a house. But this time, you get to take the strip that you cut off, and you put all the characters, and you can put the gingerbread man on a string, and you can retell the story. This is prompting and support, right, for retelling a story. And you guys are welcome to come up and look at these at the very, very end of my session here. So anyways, we got the graphics for you with the bit.ly. And then we also made folders. If you don't have paper bags, you can just make a setting folder. So the gingerbread man starts in the cottage, but then he moves to the river. And then you put all the characters inside. They retell the story to a buddy. You can retell the story to a buddy class. <clears throat> they could take it home to read the story, retell the story in their setting envelope. So we want them to be able to retell a story. You can do this with the three bears. You can do it with any story at all. But if you are working with the gingerbread man, expand it even a little bit further and just add some food coloring to your glue and have them illustrate parts of the story. Woohoo! Let's see if I can turn this. And then with colored glue, they trace the numbers. All of these things are available on my Teacher Pay Teacher store, which also has 20 freebies for you to download, K Fundamentals TPT store. And they retell the sequence of the story, and they keep adding the numerals, which then are tactile, colorful, and they can't wait to come the next day and feel the numbers that they created. So we did one illustration and one set of numbers per day. So I'm super excited about 
clearly the very hungry caterpillar. That's why I've got my caterpillar apron on in my bag because one of my newest products is the retelling book for the very hungry caterpillar. And if you have your children make a little sock puppet of a caterpillar, they can actually go right through each of the pages. Is this cute? This just launched a few weeks ago on my Teacher Pay Teacher store. Now, how do I assess all these skills? Well, that's the beauty of ESGI, because I can take all of these skills, like can they identify the character, the setting, the problem, the solution, and I can have them um, I can create my own custom tests on ESGI, and I'll, all I have to do is have the children retell the story and I just click away. They were able to identify the problem and the solution and the characters and the setting. Now, the My Hungry Caterpillar is in full color version for the teacher and a black and white version so that you, the children can color it themselves. Have you seen this book? Harriet can carry it. It is perfect for the beginning of the school year. Remember the bottom of the bag that we saved? <clears throat> There's a URL there where you can get a free kangaroo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Attach it to the bag. I know. And <clears throat> these are the pieces you can get on the website, but I made pieces in squares, so all your children have to do is color them and cut out the squares. They put the pieces in here, folds up, there's their retelling envelope. I know, I'm loving your faces, because you're like, yes, make it fun, make it engaging. <clears throat> okay, so that's what she looks like with her kangaroo pouch, ready to go home, ready to retell. <clears throat> so I assess with ESGI, <clears throat> The flashcards with ESGI, let me just tell you something. I am not a flashcard person, but this is what I do. I print them up for each child because they're customized. ESGI does that for you. They will give you all the flashcards that that child needs. I send them home with the parents and I'm like, don't use them as flashcards. Cut them out, put them back, two of them, back to back in a Ziploc bag. Put air in the Ziploc bag and they will float in the bathtub. Sink those sight words, sink those numbers and letters. Take the air out of the bag, and the bag will stick to the tile <clears throat> or the Formica or anything you have around the tub, and they can be playing with their sight words, and that's what we want them to do. So that's why I love ESGI. So are you looking for some new engaging literature for your children? How about two new books <clears throat> that just came out by Diane White, Goodbye Brings Hello, the perfect book to start kindergarten with. As children are leaving preschool and saying goodbye, they're saying hello to their new friends in kindergarten. All the things in life that you, what you end one thing and you begin something else. And Who Eats Orange is a wonderful color book that you could start the beginning of the year with. <clears throat> so I've got prizes. One of my prizes to give away is one of my flash drives which are available in the SDE bookstore. I have English language arts, writing, numbers, and to get the science one, it's in the flash drive called All. They are $20 a piece, but the All, instead of $80, is $70 at the bookstore. I'm giving one away for free today. If you're watching at home and you can't be here, there's um, an email where you can email me and I can let you know um, how to get your flash drive. And I am all about discounts and, and uh, freebies. So here are some discounts for you if you want to take a screenshot or if you're at home and you take a screenshot. <clears throat> There's everything from sit spots. If you haven't tried sit spots, your, their booth is here too. You're going to want to try this. I've got some to give away. I'm losing my voice today. I've got half off of an apron and I've even got a binder. This is perfect to go with your ESGI letter for the parents because then you've got notes here for your parent conferencing for each of your children and a binder to give away to some lucky winners today. <clears throat> okay, so there is, go, 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 there's all my social media information and while you're taking a picture of that, let's give away some, uh, some prizes. So, who in our audience is this their very, very first um, conference here for at, at SDE. <gasps> oh, okay, stand up if this is your first conference. I know, okay. So Chris is gonna pick a number between one and 10. This is for the clipfolio? Yep, clipfolio. Oh, the clipfolio from our friends at Bertel & Co, they're right over there, let me see. One and 10? 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you standing? Ten. We've got ten people. Seven. So someone's going to miss. Wait, you, just, you can't say it out loud. Oh. Okay, pick another I number. I thought you were going to count. And, or okay. it could be the same number. Okay, I got it. Okay, she's got it. Okay, Kyle, let's just do, let's give you a number. Let's give you a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What was the number? Seven. Seven again. Who's number seven? Come on down. Okay, so now all our first timers sit down and if, if you've been teaching, if this is your first year teaching, very first year teaching, stand up. Second year teaching, third year, oh, you got a prize, come on down. Show and tell, 50% off of a show and tell apron of your choice and her booth is way down there, showandtellaprons.com. Okay, who's been teaching 30 years? 30 years or more? 30 or more? Twin, you were the third year? No, 30, 30. 30, 30, 29, 28. Nice, sit spots from sitspots.com and you're, you can write on them and go and see their booth. You can do, make games, all sorts of things. One of my flash drives filled with um, for $20, they, you get 194 templates. Hello, this is a super bargain. Um, let's uh, have, who's got a birthday closest to today? And teachers are honest. I mean, we don't ask for your ID, but we, I know you're honest. Closest to today, do you know what today is? July 10th. Any July birthdays, June birthdays? Anniversary, July or June. Okay, let's go to August and May, okay. August 23rd, oh, help me with the math here. We need Shannon back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both of them get prizes. You have two prizes. I'm going to get you something then. Okay, I've got one prize, May 23rd and August 23rd. But wait, 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 wait. What? May, May 23rd was closer. And there are 31 days in May. Yeah. And so May. are we good? Yeah, May 23rd. It's May 23rd. All right, congratulations. And thank you guys. And thank ESGI. If you haven't tried, tried your free trial, try it. Try it over the summer. That will give you a chance to download tests or make your own. Thank you, guys. Thank you.